Sierra has been so incredibly happy here. She has. Yeah. Well, because every day this is what we do. We work a little bit in the mornings. That's right. Yeah. We work in the morning. We work in the morning, and then we take the dinghy to the beach. Yeah. And then we go exploring, and we go swimming. Look at this place, though. It's like wherever I point the camera, it just looks incredible. Like, it's, I don't know. The San Blas Archipelago consists of 365 islands, and the vast majority of them sit along a 25-mile stretch of water. Hopping from one island to the next is a blissful day sail behind the protective reefs. So far we'd seen about seven of them, and today we're wandering further east in search of yet another tropical paradise. We've been at this for a while now, in fact, over a decade, and we often get asked how we manage to keep going, moving our house from place to place. How do we stay inspired? Well, the answer is we switch things up. Change is good for us, both physically and mentally. So after seeing quite a few islands and being mostly alone for the past few weeks, we decided to head to a place called Kambambia which we heard was a hangout for long-term cruisers in the area, friendly locals, and hopefully a place to replenish our dwindling fresh veggie supply. So we're running a bit low on veggies, huh? Yeah, there's a vegetable boat that stopped by. We'll try and flag him down. Hola, buenas. Wow, they have a lot of good stuff. We can do mangoes, carrots, or even is that more? Oh, that's great! Wow. Quarenta, quarenta. Okay. What is quarenta? Oh, manzana. Uh, Forty bucks. Thank you, Sierra. It's a forty-one. Do you want to give him the money? Can you give it to him? <laughs> Gracias. And can you give him that too? Morning shopping trip complete. Wow, is that spinach? Yeah. Oh, spinach and mangoes. Thank you, Sierra. Oh, you're such a good helper. Can you bring everything else down? We've been here for a few days, just kind of hanging out, chilling, like meeting some new friends. They, there's hammocks and they build fires every evening. We've been cooking on the beach and it's been a lot of fun. And uh, there's some other kids here. And so we've just been chilling. This is our new friend, Liran. Hey, nice to meet you. That's his halberd grassy right there. 
And this is his daughter, Gal. You Sierra's new friend? Yeah, this is Sierra's new friend. It's pretty cool for Nugs to be able to play with somebody that's like, yeah. kind of her own age. Like She's a year younger, but they're playing together well. What goes through the minds of toddlers, huh? <laughs> you love pigs, huh? I think I like the pig more than Sierra. What? Oh, more not more than Sierra, more than Sierra does. Mama, I out Yeah. We were in the market for a mola, so we decided to head into the hut at the end of the island for a little shopping mission. Did you find one? So they sell it all over the islands and uh, they're pretty intricate and amazing but I don't know that much facts about it so we're gonna have to insert something here. Molas are brightly colored textiles that are handmade by the Kuna themselves and are the trademark souvenir of these islands. They typically form part of the traditional outfit of a Kuna woman and are often sewn into blouses, hence the word mola actually means shirt or clothing although enterprising kunas have fashioned them into bags, wall hangings, and just about everything else you could imagine. Many hours of careful sewing are required to create a fine mola, and they can take weeks of labor for just a single one. In mola world, the more complicated and intricate the design, the more labor required, which means the price is higher as well. Ooh, it's like 50. It's a, it's a, it's a nice one. Yeah. It's a bit different from the other ones that I've seen. Uh, really intricate too. Yeah, super intricate. Like the amount of work to like make one of these. Pretty intense. Yeah. A lot of layers. A lot of layers. <laughs> I like it. Our friends put up these uh, really nice hammocks here on the beach. It's like a perfect place to lay down in the shade. Each day here wound down the same way. A simple fire on the beach with drinks and laughs shared amongst friends. There's a couple of local dudes that are uh, cleaning the bottom of the boat right now. I showed them the um, like the electric uh, brush, and they're like the local Kuna guys had never seen anything like that, so it kind of tripped them out. So we're uh, contributing to the community and providing a little bit of money for labor. Hey, come on, bien, sí, te gusta, pues sí, muy loco, no? Okay, gracias, ciao. Is the bottom pretty bad? Uh, actually, no. I looked at it and it's been over a month since we cleaned it. It's not that bad. It's got some growth, but uh, nothing crazy. These guys are doing a real good job, though. Uh, I am like 20 bucks a piece and they're just busting it out. They're just ripping on it. I think he really likes using that machine. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. But uh, yeah, they're done with the port side and they're working on the starboard side. Oh wow, that's fast. Yeah, I tried two of them and they're just so yeah. used to working underwater, they crank. Yeah. 
Do you want a waffle too, Nugget? You have one? Can you take a bite of it? Mm. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you like mm. it. Cheers. Cheers. Combombia was great, but we were already getting itchy to explore some more. So all stuffed up on veggies and with bellies full of waffles, we picked up the hook and decided to set out on the next adventure. So this is where we were. We were just right there. And I were taking us over here to this little anchorage here. So we've got to kind of cut through this pass up this way through the shoals. So we're just gonna go like this. There's up an anchor in here. A little picture of it here. And there this should be. Should be pretty cool. Champagne sailing though. <laughs> Beautiful sailing. Reminds me a lot of Madagascar. It's a pretty good sail when you can take a bath underway. <laughs> I know. It's so stable. You're just loving your bath. It's so chill. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the bath nugget? <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. We're almost there already. Oh wow. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. We just gotta get around these shallow spots. enjoying the Saint Blas. This is amazing. What are your favorite things about these islands so far? The sun, the palm trees, and the sand, and the crystal clear water. Yeah. And Sierra has been so incredibly happy here. She has. Yeah. Well, because every day this is what we do. We work a little bit in the mornings. Sierra, how do, how do we work on the computers? <laughs> like we work in the morning. We work in the morning, and then we take the dinghy. Yeah, we work on the boat, and then we take the dinghy to the beach, yeah. and then we go exploring, and we go swimming, and we play on the sand. This area is just full of so many little islands. We're just taking a little ride out around the boat, which is over here, and then there's this little island here. It's totally protected on this side. Well, this is pretty nice. I know, this is great. We just randomly found this island. We went for a little dinghy cruise to meet with some friends and yeah. I don't know, three minutes later we're here. It looks like pretty good snorkeling and like just chilling. Yeah, I mean, there's nobody on this island. We picked this little corner spot because it's got good sand and shade. It's beautiful. Place though, it's like wherever I point the camera, it just looks incredible. Like, it's, I don't know. It's so magical to like kind of stumble upon places like this. And Sierra has been in a really good mood the last couple of days, which makes, you know, our lives a lot easier. I think she just really loves the beach and just like loves this routine that we've created here where we kind of like wake up, 
have a slow breakfast and then you know work a little bit and then go into the beach go back take a nap <laughs> wake up and then maybe have a bonfire in the night so yeah she's thriving and I'm feeling super good mentally and physically too because we've been swimming so much I don't know it's exactly what we needed um, from life right now <laughs> You want to help me to send a message to our patrons out there? Hey, nice. Yeah, Yeah! <laughs> okay, hi patrons! We just want to send you a message and say thank you so much for all your love and support. It means the world yeah. to us. You know who you are and you're amazing. And it's really because of you guys that all of this is happening. Mama. So, yes. do you want to swim? Okay, I'm just going to say this one more thing. <laughs> And if you want to become part of our patron tribe, head to patreon.com forward slash svdelos and check it out. It's a lot of good things there for you. You get to see the videos one week before everybody else. Uh, yeah, access to shop. You get to talk with us on a more personal level and yeah, a lot of other good things. So head to patreon.com forward slash svdelos and check it out if you want to. Okay. Time to swim? I think the Nugs likes it too, huh? Do you like it here? <laughs> Look at that. Perpetual smile face. It's nice just to enjoy yeah. our time. I feel like we've really, like all of a sudden, we've just slowed down. I like, know, right? <laughs> just like, ah, oh, we've, we've seen, like I counted, we've been to eight different anchorages, I think. Yeah. In some blocks so far over the last, what, we've been here three weeks. Nice here. And now we just have sort of settled into a nice zone. Yeah. And slow down a little bit. Nice and good. Yeah. Prioritizing family, prioritizing, you know. Time. Time. Just it's swimming. Very, very special to yeah. be able to do that. Nugget's sleeping. Kaz is editing videos. And uh, I've decided to do a little bit of uh, boat work. I had the guys at the last island clean the bottom of the Kuna dudes and they did an awesome job. And now I'm gonna go clean uh, the side of the boat. There's like an exhaust streak on the port side. Uh, usually that happens when the injectors need to be replaced. And since I just replaced the ones on the main, uh, it means it's probably the generator and uh, the injectors just get clogged and a little bit fouled. And then it's uh, not nearly as fuel efficient and it doesn't burn all the fuel and it starts leaving that black streak on the side of the hole which looks like crap so that's what i'm going to do today it's beautiful weather to do it and i don't think it'll take too long all right next item on the list is one of the furler motors for the main outhaul stopped working it's actually the one that i sort of like put the old one on up in charleston south carolina that was a temporary fix and so it's worked but uh, it finally stopped so i go like this and you can hear the relay clicking uh but the motor doesn't activate so i suspect that it's something with that motor so i'm gonna pull that off of there oh that's not a good sign Water come out of there. Ugh. 
That's why we did these bags. Kaza made these bags and I think they actually work a lot better because water always gets in there no matter what you do. And so we figured, well, if water's gonna get in there, then you might as well just let like the water come out too. So we put holes in the bottom and so then the, the condensation in the water just drips out and we've never had any problems with those motors getting wet. So I think I'll switch the other one to one of Kaza's super bags. So it's just water in there. It's just so shitty, look at this split this collar so once that split then oh. i think water probably got in there yeah but we do have the spare motor i ordered okay. like a year ago i'm surprised this one lasted that long yeah on the fire. Perfect. Go put it on the fire, Nugs. Nugs? Yeah, Grace, Grace put it on the fire. Okay, here we go. Yeah. This is not safe for being. Okay. Whoa, good job, Grace. I'm proud of you. You've done good. Next on Delos, we opt for a change of scenery and decide to take a dinghy mission up a freshwater river. We then try to buy vegetables in the biggest Kuna town we've seen so far, which turns out to be a little bit of disaster thanks to COVID. We're not allowed to walk around, we're not allowed to like go to the shop, even though the shop is literally like right there. Good job. Thumbs up. Okay, bump it. <laughs> we blew it up. Did you know that more people are killed by falling coconuts than sharks? Is that a Brian fact or is it a real fact? Uh, I'm going to check on that. Though. Sierra, do you want to say hi to all our patrons out there? No. No? Okay, then I will do it instead. <laughs> okay, so first just a few seconds of you just looking longingly at the beach, enjoying life, not a worry in the world, and then all of a sudden... Okay. 